Hello crafty friends! I am coming in with another DIY art bin project and today I decided to do a Mother's Day card for my mom for Mother's Day and I hope you all love it. So this is the card that I made. Isn't it super cute? I just absolutely love this little French poodle or Parisian poodle. She's so cute. Now just know that you don't have to use a hat or the purse for the accessories um, and you could turn it into a boy poodle. I just um, prefer to make it a girl and I just thought it was super fun and cute. The paper collection that I used is, this is an oldie but a goodie, this is Authentique's Classic Beauty and I absolutely love this one. I am trying to go through and use all my stash this year. I'm not trying to really purchase any more paper. I might purchase a few but not as much as I have in the past. Um, plus, I need to stock up on basic supplies. I need to get a new um, cutting board and all that kind of stuff, and I just haven't made up my mind what I want. But anyway, you guys understand. You guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, let me give you the measurement of this card. It is 4.75, okay? So 4 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters, okay? And then I just basically made this on the inside just a smidge smaller about a eighth of an inch maybe even a little bit less as you can see um and then on the inside i created this little um word sentiment that says when god made moms he picked the best one for us now this will be a free cutting file for you in my facebook group salty beach scrappers as well as the happy mother's day and i want to let you know that when i put it in cricut what i did is i did the width first because that was most important to me for the size card i was using um i went ahead and made it three and, and a quarter inches wide so I was using um, a heavyweight cardstock for the Happy Mother's Day, so I wanted to let you know that if you're using vinyl, you probably could get away with making it a little bit smaller, but if you're using heavyweight cardstock, you know the Cricut has problems cutting out um, small letters with uh, heavyweight cardstock, so I wanted to adjust it to the size, but actually it turned out perfect. All I did was kind of do a little step down here, so... You know, I think it really worked and it fit on here and it filled up some of the empty space on this card. And I absolutely just love this poodle. Here's the die. I went ahead and kept everything all on one thing. It was just easier for me to do that. Um, excuse me. I just ran it through. Um, well, I actually did a couple times because I made a couple boo-boos. But anyway, let me move this out of the way real quick. And let me show you the paper that I used was the Artesia um, 30 Sheets Watercolor Premium Paper Pad. This is acid-free cold-pressed paper. And it is 5 by 5 by 8.5. Now, in no means am I saying this is a great idea to use for alcohol markers. This is really great for watercolor markers, but I don't happen to have the specific alcohol marker paper that I need, which is Nina. And I don't have that right now, and I'm going to put that on my Mother's Day list for what I want for Mother's Day. But anyway, um, I just thought it was super fun to make. But let me show you some of the uh, markers that I used for this. The first ones that I used for the body of my little poodle here was um, Sketcher, Sketch Marker Brush. Okay, so you have your brush on one side and then you have your um, flat end on the other or your angled edge, right? And the angled edge is for filling out large uh, pieces or areas like this one. I used, first of all, I used the BR15 Ivory Cream first. Then I came back around and I used um, ginger and oatmeal, okay? So I used the darkest one on the outside very lightly and very thin. And then I came back in um, with the next color up and I believe that was the oatmeal. Then I decided to go back over it again to try to blend it in a little bit with the oatmeal. I'm not sure why I kept this one out. I don't recall using the lace. So, oh, I used a lace on this one. I apologize. Okay, sorry. <laughs> on the hat. Um, let me show you. I also came in with the Ohuhu uh, blender. Okay, so I just want to let you know you can use that to blend as well. So as you can see, to me, sorry, my desk is like crazy. 
you know, it doesn't blend as well when you're using the watercolor paper, but you know, I think it worked for the purpose. This is for my mom. I'm not selling this card. I also want to let you know that for the, um, patent leather look on my purse and for the little glossy nose I went ahead and used my Nuvo crystal drops and this is the clear one okay so I just let that dry and then um, later on I started paper piecing this together but for the hat okay again for the middle part I used the lace and then I came back on the outside I used the R8 first and then second, I came in in uh, on top and a little bit further in with the old or with the old red. And then I came back in with a little bit of the cherry pink. OK, then I came back in with my blender and I blended it. I also and so I basically did the same thing with the purse as well. The only thing with the purse is I don't believe I used this lace color. Um, and then for the nails, I did actually use the Nouveau drops on that as well. And I used the cherry pink. So I just kind of thought it was fun to add a little pink toenails in there. Um, it's not really defined. I just go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. You know, it's easy. Um, I also, for the body of my little poodle here, I used the black for the nose. Now I did leave a little space to make it white, but if you want to fill it in, you can, and then you can come back in with your jelly roll pen and just add that little white mark in there. So that's up to you if you want to do that. Um, and then again, I use the Nouveau drops on top of that. Now, for the body of my little poodle, I use the Cool Gray 2, and I did it all over the body. So basically, I used the edge first for the whole body. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm sorry, not the body. For the fur. <laughs> sorry. For the fur, I use a cool gray all over, right? Then I came back in with the uh, P3 and the R11, right? And so I start off with the darker on the outside, as you can see, and then I do the next color in. And then again, I use my color blender. And I also came back in with the cool gray over the whole entire piece okay so i hope this all makes sense to you i hope you all love it guys don't forget to check out my facebook group again for these free cut files um it is salty beach scrappers with an s at the end and i'll have that link down below as well i think it's actually attached to my youtube page anyway up at the top but anyway guys i hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day and for all you mothers out there happy mother's day I will be seeing you on Tuesday. I have to get a tooth pole tomorrow morning. I am not happy about it. It is a molar, and um, so it's in the back of my mouth, and they've got to um, sew up the gum. I know, right? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> so there's not a big gaping hole because, it. I mean, it's like the, the tooth, I don't know what you want to call it, but the bottom of the tooth is way in there. The root of it is way down in there, and it's long. So... It's not going to be fun. But anyway, guys, I will see you all soon. And guys, have a happy Mother's and well, have a happy and safe Mother's Day weekend. Bye bye.